on the mountain, in the valley, in the crowded streets, or the empty desert. In our hope and in our waiting, we are never alone. God is with us. Hello, church family. Hi there. Our chapter that we studied was Matthew chapter 20. If you read this chapter with us, um, you'll notice that it began with a parable. Jesus was using a parable of workers in a vineyard to describe what the kingdom of heaven was like. In this parable, he spoke about an owner of a vineyard and this owner decided to hire workers for to work in his vineyard. Some workers he hired in the beginning of the day and they worked the entire day. Uh, some workers he hired just at the end of the day and they only worked a few hours. At the end of the day, the owner paid all of the workers the same amount of money. The workers who worked the entire day through the hot sun and the workers who only worked a little while were paid the same. And of course, as you may expect, some of the workers who worked the entire day and realized that they got paid the same as the ones who only worked a few hours were a little upset. So they came to the owner and uh, asked him about it. And the owner um, said that he could pretty much, uh, he, they agreed to work for what he would pay them and so they should be happy with that also he said at the end of the um, of that that uh, portion in verse 16 so the last will be first and the first will be last later on in the chapter the mother of the uh, Zebedee's sons came to Jesus and asked Jesus if he would put her two sons on his right and left hand in his kingdom, pretty much setting them up for positions, um, important positions in his kingdom. And uh, Jesus's response to her, uh, a verse that stuck out to me was that these, in verse 23, these places belong to those for whom they have been prepared by my father. And later on in that uh, discourse, it was also said, whoever wants to be first must be a servant. And it made me think, what should we be striving for as Christians? Should we be striving to be last? Should we be striving to be first? Should we be striving for either of those things at all? I like in verse 23 that it says, these places belong to those who they have been prepared by my father. And that told me that God has already prepared places for us and he has already a plan for each one of us. And so really the important thing is not so much how important are we, um, where God, where is God going to set me up? Is he going to set me up at the top or at the bottom? But instead, where has God taken me and where is he trying to bring me to? What place does he have prepared for me? And I think if we think about what God has done for us in our lives, uh, we can be thankful to him that he's taken us from where we've been and brought us to where we are and he's not finished with us he still has a plan to take us uh, to to towards his purpose for our lives and I think a part of our purpose also is for us to share the good news and to share the gospel with others even in small ways um, it's pretty surprising how many people haven't felt the presence of the Holy Spirit or who haven't even understood peace, joy, any of those things in their lives yet. So I think our plan and our purpose is also to be a light to those around us. And we never know how we might touch somebody. And we never know if they could be a part of God's plan one day too. 
I think we want as many people as we can get to heaven and we don't have to preach, we don't have to sing, we don't have to do anything out, like just anything out of uh, the ordinary. We can tell our story and we can be kind to others, we can be a friend to someone who's an outcast and um, that's what Jesus did. He was a friend of sinners. I think we want to focus on that, on how many people can we get to heaven instead of where we're going to be. And I think we'll have a much more fulfilling relationship with Christ and with others around us and fulfill our purpose here on earth while we can. Thank you for letting us be part of your study and God bless you all.